Hello, brothers and sisters. I ran into a little uh, profile photo or a cover photo from uh, Praise on TBN, and it showed uh, John Haggy. Uh, he is a mega pastor, a mega church pastor, and uh, he was holding up the devil's horns with his hand. That's a form of sigil magic, a blinding sigil magic. Uh, he's supported by TBN, and so I'm calling for TBN to repent. And TBN also supports Joel Osteen with his uh, money scandal in the toilet bowl. And uh, so I wouldn't recommend TBN. Uh, it might be a den of vapors and vipers. I started looking into it, and then I found out John Haggy's brother was charged with child sex abuse. It really seems like maybe John Haggy had a whole bunch of money, and he was passing the buck of the prostitution to his brother. So I'm calling for them to repent. The Lord rebuke you. And then I started looking into it. TBN also supports John Ramirez and uh, Joel Austin still. And Ramirez was supposedly a ex-warlock Satanist. And uh, you see him every single time he has this scrunched up face. I think he's really faking it. I believe he's actually a uh, Satanist still and an agent of the enemy. So you must repent. The Lord rebuke you. These places are actually synagogues of Satan, and they're using undercover Satanists posing as Christians and believers, but they're actually slowly misguiding and misleading people astray, just like Disney. Oh, it's innocent kids' movies, right? Well, they put in little innuendos, and slowly but surely, they're making people okay with the Sodom and Gomorrah movement. This is how these networks are working. And then I also saw that the 700 Club, not a good place for Christians. Uh, I believe it's an undercover synagogue of Satan as well. I'm calling for them to repent because they're also uh, supporting John Ramirez, which I believe is an undercover Satanist. Stopping demonic John Ramirez, undercover agent of Satan. Hint, he's still a Satanist. Scrunched up face like he's hiding laughter each time. Alethea.